you can see it's all rusted. So that's how bad the leak is here, and they cannot tell on it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Look how wet it is underneath it. You can see it's wet. So somehow water gets in here. We gotta take all this off. You cannot go over old tar and silicon. It's, um, it's not gonna work. You gotta remove it. All right, so now the people originally came to repair this roof. They did a very good job, but they used tar. Tar with, with mesh. See the mesh? There's the mesh, fiber mesh. Okay, so that's what they used. See that? That's the mesh, okay? Tar did not last. Look at the rust around here. The reason is the silicon caulking around that screw. You see the rust here? The silicon caulking and went over paint here and so some places the paint it peels but you can see it hold it held up pretty good at some places but then tar cracked so let me show you where the tar, look at the tar here see see here the tar starts bubbling cracking and eventually look here Look, it's wet underneath the tar. You could not tell it's leaking, but it's wet. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay. Has to be done everything to this side. The bulk of the stuff removed. Then I'm, let me show you how the next step is. So the next step, I wanna remove the paint and everything. So, here's my idea. This surface is clean, and this surface is clean, and I'm gonna put my transition right over this completely. But I'm doing it to a fresh metal, not to paint, the, the blue paint, caulking and tar. You have to clean this very well. That is the first step is preparation. And now what we use is Turbo Poly Seal. Excellent, excellent product. It adheres to metal and very, very well. And so you can see all the rusted spots here. Look at the rust here, rust and rust, and it's rusted through. That's not the final step. I'll show you when we finish what's the final step. But the tr first of all, I don't like this sharp edge here. See the sharp edge? I want to cover this gap to avoid a sharp edge there. So I'm gonna put some, this is just a roof cement. There's nothing special. It's tar or roof cement or flashing cement or whatever you wanna call it. And I fill up that gap so there's no void behind the, the, the my transition. That's all I'm doing. I'm doing a slight, you can see that the, the uh, uh, I fill up the gap there, you see there? I paint Turbo Poly Seal. I put, I have a three inch brush here. All right, and I cover this. And I cover, I'm gonna just show you how to do this. This is very easy, but it works super, super nice. All right, this is a crucial step, by the way. Everything has to be clean, well prepared. And then, um, I'm going to do it up to here so you can see how it's done, okay? So, take this, I put the fleece, make sure the fleece goes snug against the, the roof, okay? You can see now that caulking tar, this roof cement un underneath it, is filling up that, that void there, that gap. Then, when you come to the risers, you you have to line the fleece in here so i'm going to cut right to this corner of the riser and this corner of the riser see this corner 
all right and then I'm gonna cut to the top corner of the riser right there right there this is nice now I fold this in there add a bit of turbo on top of the fleece where the other one will lie over see that put it right in there very nice and then I put some turbo over this area where this one will sit see see that beautiful just like that see how you do it and then you do your final coating over this all right now that's not the final step this is the la almost to the final step the next step I'll show you as soon as I got this done I'll show you the, my next step and that will be tomorrow oh I didn't cut the look at that so I gotta cut the bottom and then put some dab more turbo and look at it beautiful you close the gap there see and then you cover this one more thing I want to show you and this is tedious but a, f a quick fix is not going to work you cannot do that so I'm just showing you the best way how to to make a transition wherever you need a transition between metal pieces or all right now I'm going to show you something else I'm making it about two inches on this drip edge that's good enough but look at this big rust hole so what I do is I cover this from there. Oh, there's more rust holes there. You see that corner there? So I'm just gonna put the fleece all over, all the way to that side. And you, you save a roof. You can save any roof if you just put a little bit of time into it. So I'm gonna cover that just like that. And I paint my turbo poly seal over that make sure you cover the entire fleece and not leave any uncovered because the UVs will will break the the, tub, the polyester fleece all the way so that's it now I want to show you now what after this cures I'll wait you can wait an hour but you can wait 24 hours so tomorrow when I done with all this transition I'm going to show you the final step and that will that will make your roof completely seal proof leak proof okay all right so this is the final step this is super important if you want to make this transition last now you as we went through we went cleaning took off everything grind it filled it up and then we did the transition this is yesterday look how nice it is smooth and it sticks and there's no ways water can get in but to make this last you you should do this and that is silver coating okay so look at the silver coating i want to show you something you gotta mix this that's the aluminum sitting at the bottom you cannot just go and paint it like that so it takes a while if you can have a screw gun you can mix it um, but I don't have one now so it takes a while to mix this to get the aluminum to mix with the asphalt but let me tell you the principle it is important to to put this on because the UVs will eventually beat on this and eat and and this will deteriorate if you don't have a silver coat protection silver coat protection so, make just to show you after three years what turbo poly seal looks like we applied this around this vent pipe metal to rubber roof and look how well it's lasted now you can see the oxidation on it you see that so this will last six eight or ten years depends on the sun but it's best to coat it with silver coat protection it will last forever make, almost this. guaranteed to last forever so it's aluminum asphalt that's what it is It'll take a while to mix about five minutes 
I've been mixing this, but you can see now it gets thicker and aluminum is getting mixed in. And this is pretty good now. I think that's will work. What you do now, this is the final step. And uh, you take this and look at that. This will protect it against the ultraviolet, the sun. And all you do is you roll it on and you're done. That is an important step, is to make this last. If you don't, the heat and the ultraviolet will destroy everything. All right, very, very important. Silver coating and that's a final step and thank you for watching. See you next time.